सो इन दिस टॉपिक वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट टोलिंग डायरेक्शन सो इन प्लास्टिक प्रोडक्ट डिजाइन टोलिंग डायरेक्शन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अस्पेक्ट विदाउट टोलिंग डायरेक्शन वी कैनॉट डू एनी वर्क सो वॉट इज टोलिंग डायरेक्शन सो द डेफिनेशन ऑफ टोलिंग डायरेक्शन इज वेरी सिंपल टोलिंग डायरेक्शन इज अ डायरेक्शन इन विच टू हर्ब्स ऑफ मोल्ड गेट सेपरेटेड अगेंस्ट ईच अदर सो इट इज एज सिंपल एज दैट सो इन दिस टॉपिक वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू फाइंड अ टोलिंग डायरेक्शन so to find the tooling direction we have created we have created these three types three main types and there are some sub types also so we will discuss all these types one by one so the first type is given or input by customer so in this type the customer will provide you some data some input regarding the tooling direction and you have to find the tooling direction as per the data given by the customer then there is the second type which is using part geometry and assembly sequence so if customer doesn't give you any data related to tooling direction then you have to go for this type you have to consider the part geometry and assembly sequence to find the tooling direction and when these two types type a and type b fails then we will go for the last method which is trial and error so in the next slides we will discuss all these types and sub types one by one so the first sub type in in this type is along axis direction so in this type or in this case a customer will specify you to take a tooling direction along any axis direction for example along x axis y axis or z axis and according to that you have to create a tooling direction so in this video you will see how i am creating a tooling direction so here i will use this line type which is point and direction so in this way i have created a tooling direction along the specified axis direction then you can change the properties of the tooling direction for the identification now in second type the second type sub type is passing through two points so here in this case a customer will give you only coordinates of two points in this case you need to create a line using point to point and this will be your final tooling direction so let's see in the video so suppose customer gives you a coordinates of two points the coordinates of first point is 0 0 and the coordinates of the second point is suppose 50 50 50 then you have to draw a line passing through these two points but as you can see this line is far away from the part so we have to create one line near our part for easy work so here i will create one point and in direction i will give this direction then i will hide this direction so in this way you can create a tooling direction passing through two points so it is very necessary that your tooling direction should be near to your part so that you can use your tooling direction conveniently so now we will see the third sub type which is given in cad so here customer will give you one tooling direction so in this case the customer will directly give you a tooling direction like this so as you can see the customer has given this tooling direction 
so there is no need to find the Turing direction. Now let's see the next subtype which is reference to other file. So in this case customer will tell you to draw a Turing direction with reference to other part which means suppose there is one part which is already done and there is one Turing direction and customer will tell you to take that Turing direction in this new part. So let's see in this video. So this is the new part and here we have to find the Turing direction with reference to this old part. So what I will do, I will just copy this Turing direction and I will paste this Turing direction in this file. But as you can see, this Turing direction is away from the our part. So I will create one line here. And in direction I will give I will select this line as my direction so in this way you can create a cooling direction Now we will see the next type which is using part geometry and assembly sequence. So in this type the first subtype is assembly direction. So in this case you have to take assembly direction into consideration. So we must know the function of the part to create a tooling direction like how the assembly is going to take place. We should know that. So in this video we will see how to create a tooling direction. So as you can see the solid part has one assembly direction and with reference to this direction we will create new tooling direction. So I will create one point on this surface and then in direction I will give this assembly direction. So this is how we create a cooling direction if we know the assembly direction. Now in the next slide we will see the next subtype which is using B side features. So if customer doesn't give you any data regarding a cooling direction then you have to consider B side features like screw boss or snap or locator or welding boss so using these beside features we will create tooling direction so in this example there is a screw boss screw boss mounted on b side so we will see how to create a tooling direction with the help of this screw boss So here first I will create two points at the center of this circle and then at the center of this circle and then I will create a line passing through these two points. And this will be my final tooling direction. So if you have any B side feature on your part then you can create a tooling direction like this now the third subtype is normal to face so if there is a screw boss mounted on B side then create a line normal to the face so here we are taking one example of screw boss. So we will see in the video how we can create a line normal to face. So in line type I will select normal to surface. Here I will select this surface and then create a point anywhere 
or you can simply create a point at the center of the circle and this will be your tooling direction now we will see the last subtype in this type which is symmetry face so in this example as you can see there is symmetrical face here so there is one feature so using this feature we will create one tooling direction using this symmetry face so so here i will create one plane tangent to this surface then i will create one more plane tangent to this face then i will create a mid plane of these two planes like this so we have created one mid plane now you can hide these two planes now we will create we will follow the same procedure on this side also again we will create one mid plane again we will create one mid plane of these two planes like this and now hide these two planes we don't need them now if we take if we take intersection of these two planes then we will get one line and that line will be your tooling direction so we have got a line which is infinite line so i will create two points on this line and just hide this intersection line and this has become your final tooling direction so in this way you can use symmetry face if there is any to create a tooling direction so now we will see the last type which is trial and error so the first subtype is maximum angle so when about two methods fail we will go for this trial and error method which means if customer doesn't give any data related to tooling direction and you don't have any beside features on the part then you need to go for trial and error method so in this case in this maximum angle method we will use draft analysis to find the tooling direction so as you can see here we have one styling surface and with the help of draft analysis i will try to find the tooling direction So first you have to drag this compass and put it on the surface and define the draft direction like this and here you have to increase the angle like this and you can see here is the red area then you have to adjust your direction or compass then again you have to increase the angle then again adjust the compass then again add again increase the angle so you will again see the red area here then again adjust the compass like this so you have to go on increasing the angle until you find the maximum angle 
so now you can see we are getting red color at two locations which means 25 degree is the maximum angle then after this just right click on this compass and select the first option to lock this direction and now go to line command then go to point and direction create one point and in direction right click and select this compass direction and this will be your final pulling direction so in this way we can find pulling direction if we don't have any data now in the now the next subtype is approximate so as the name suggests we draw we will draw a turning line approximately so here we have one styling surface so first we will adjust the view such that all the surfaces are visible from that view and then we will lock this direction and then we will create a line in that direction so these are the different methods to find a tolling direction